Bye, Mom. Bye, home. All right, I'm out of here. You're out of here. You're going to college. Be a good boy. Come you here, though. You don't go to no. school like that. And put your pants up, will Stop. you? Stop. Study good. Make good grades for me. Make me proud of you. Okay. And I love you. And good luck to you. You too. Bye. Bye. I think I'll fit in with all the other kids. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Okay. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye, Mom. I'm going to start crying. <laughs> University of Nebraska at Lincoln. This celebrated school boasts a student body of 25,000. The academic elite of young America, striving for wisdom and excellence. But today, a motley new pupil will join their ranks. Tommy Lee. Chancellor's office is? Oh, it's straight ahead. Right Sweet. Past past right on. See Thank you, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. I love Nebraska. <laughs> As Tommy makes his way across the quad for the first time, he's met by curious stares. Hey, Tommy. Hi. And loud cat calls. Hello, how are you? <laughs> ah, this is gonna be killer. That looks like the chancellor's office to me. Long hallways scare me. Hello. Hello. Hi, uh, uh, my name's Tommy Lee. Oh, Tommy Lee. Hi. Welcome to Nebraska. Oh, thank you. I'll tell him you're here. Why don't you just have a chair? Okay, thank you. Well, my first impression of Tommy Lee was one of great excitement. I thought he was really uh, very. Very handsome, to be honest with you. I did. Hello, Tommy. Oh, yes, sir. Hi, Harvey Perlman. Hello, Harvey. How are Pleasure you? to meet you. Good to meet you. Want to come in? Yes, sir. I did listen to a Motley Crue album last night just to get myself into the mood. Well, it must be an acquired taste. This morning. I'm really uh, excited to be here, actually. This is, uh, I'm looking forward to this. Well, we're, we're, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, this is a, a serious academic institution, and uh, there's a lot of serious hard work to do. Absolutely. I'm on a mission. And then, of course, we know a little bit about your background. Hopefully not too much of it. <laughs> I think the university's uh, taking some risks having you here, but I understand you're prepared to comply with the uh, code of student conduct. It's a little light reading for you, but... Oh, wow. Uh, here's a map of the campus, so you know where you are. All right. It's a beautiful campus, by the way. 
Well, we think so, and, and don't trash it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. And I guess this makes you a Husker. Yeah, go Big Red. Woo! <laughs> awesome, thank you very much. Well, good luck to you. Well, <clears throat> I guess, should I say, I hope I don't see you later? You should say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Biggest fan right here, Tommy. What's cracking? Something. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm... Oh, Hi. oh my God, you're hungry. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> how are you? Hugs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Never in my life did I ever think I'd get a chance to meet Tommy Lee. And he just hugged me. Oh, my God. Tommy Lee. <laughs> to the bookstore. <laughs> Chemical engineering. Oh, killer. Criminal law. <sighs> Organic chemistry. Killer. Yes. Yes. Just bananas. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Right. Wish me luck. Good luck. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Clearly, the students have embraced Tommy as one of their own. To them, he's more than a mere rock star. He's a shipmate on the voyage to wisdom, a fellow player in the game of learning. He is a corn husker. Yes! UNL! UNL! perfect roommate is a crucial component of the college experience. I'm looking for a housing list. But who among these students is man enough to bunk up with Tommy Lee? Yeah. Yeah. I might. Um, I'm looking for some say. roommates. You can be my roommate. Yeah. I think That's roommate. what I'm talking about. Hey, welcome to Nebraska. What's going on? Chilling. I'm looking for a dorm room and a roommate. <laughs> How's it going, man? I'm Tommy. I'm Alan. Alan? Yeah. I heard you're looking for a roommate. Yeah, come on in. Right on. So, uh, dude, these are kind of small. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> they're bigger than the other ones. Have you seen the other rooms? I haven't yet. They're, these oh, are way bigger. Oh, so this is the deluxe model? Yeah, pretty much. I got you. Excellent. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Uh, Lei. Lei? Hi, I'm Tommy Lee. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, what can I do for you? Um, I heard you're looking for a roommate. Uh, what? Oh. Hey. Hey, Zachary. Yeah? Uh, my name's Tommy. I, hey. I heard you're looking for a roommate. Yeah. Yeah? Everything all right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. Did you ever hear a band called Motley Crue? No Motley Crue CDs? What's the deal? So are you cool with uh, bringing naked chicks in here? <laughs> um, well, I'm gay, so... Oh, you are? you are cool with me bringing naked guys in here. I'm cool with that. Um, do you snore? Yeah. A long day of roommate screening, and the prospects look bleak. Despondent, Tommy shuffles off to meet the final candidate, a big brained senior named Matthew Ellis. Whoa, man! I'm Tommy, bro. Nice to meet you, Tommy. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Looking, uh, looking for a place to crash. Can I come in? Yeah, come on in. This is definitely one of the nicest ones. Yeah, it's not bad. It's treating me well. Are you cool with some loud music? 
once in a while? Some drumming, maybe? Yeah, not too bad, if you're cool with uh, not being so loud every once in a while, with a little books, maybe. We could work that out, yeah. So I got one last question, and this one's really important. Yeah. Because I want to kick some ass while I'm here. Yeah. And I, I need to know what your uh, GPA is. I pulled like a 3.5 last semester, so. That don't sound so good. That's, that's, a... that's out of four. OK. I was thinking 10 something. I'm oh, no. To, yeah, I'm used to 10s. Oh. Um, all right, then. Maybe I think we got a deal here. All right. Yeah? Sounds good. We on? Make it work. All right. Let's do it. All right. And so Matthew wins the roommate roulette. But his humble quarters are hardly suited to a rock royal. Enter Tommy Lee's mobile army of interior decorators. Summoned to pimp the joint. Holy, what did you do? Oh my God. Now it's tight. You hooked this up. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I like it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh. Dude, you look buddy. like you've been busy today. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to get through this. <laughs> you want to play? Pose, yeah, we can Come do on. it. Let's go. Comfortable in here now. Yeah, definitely. Now, th now, it's, now it's tight. I do like we it. We got the cappuccino machine cracking. That's nice. Yeah. Fridge, yeah. microwave, Not PlayStation 2. The flatty. Huh? I do like look the at the Dude, look at the I size of like the alarm clocks. We will be waking up. Where's my stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. with the sun and dressed to impress, our freshman crosses the lawn towards his first day of classes. But can Tommy Lee rise to the challenge of academia? Off to his first class, chemistry, a subject that's always come naturally. I think maybe we should just start off with uh, introduction. Tommy, would you like to stand up, say hello? Hello, everybody. Um, I really appreciate you guys letting me come in uh, to your world here. I am here only to treat this with nothing but respect and love, and I'm glad to be here. Thank you for letting me be here. Okay, we're gonna start the new unit today. What we're looking at is the distance from one wave to another wave. It's called a wavelength. There are three variables, you know two of them. C is equal to lambda times nu. The next time I says, what's new? You can say, what's wavelength? <laughs> Next up, English class, where Tommy hopes to learn English. Religious freedom is a huge issue for Silco because it's talking about Native American stuff. But what about in the terms of the book? What has to happen in terms of the book? You know, you guys read the book. Is it mothers? Is it all women? Are all women mothers? The way I understood it was without women, there could be no life. OK, so in the ghost reaction is very experiential. OK, folks, we're out of time. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi. I'm Fran. Hi, nice to meet you. That's an awesome, fascinating story. So did you make it through the book? I've skimmed through it. I'm playing serious catch-up right now. But uh... So you're going to read the, one of the books for next week? You know, the more that, that you can read, the better. OK. OK. Well, thank you. Hey, will you sign my shirt? Got it. Which is defined to be 1 over the total mass, m tot, Excuse me. times the sum over all the individual particles, in this case from 1 to 4, of m i r i vector, plus 100 kilograms. What do I know? I know delta t. If you look at the film again, you realize that delta t, that's a very sharp collision between two helmets. 
Think about, well, what is the time of the collision between the helmet and the floor? You were late for class. Mr. Lee, any ideas? Uh, Tenth of uh, a second, one second, ten seconds. Tenth of a second? Yeah. Exactly. Roughly a tenth of a second. Try to understand how this helmet works. This is the part I hate. I have a mild acrophobia. Ready? And I thank you for your attention. We're done. This class is crazy, dude. That guy's, that guy's bananas. Bananas are not bananas. Dr. Gibb will be both Tommy's physics professor and his academic mentor. Dr. Gay? Hi. Ah, oh, Mr. Lee, come Hi. in. How are the classes going? Um, not bad. I'm talking um, about English. What are you what are you studying in English? Um, they're right now I, I've got a, a bit of a stack of homework there. I've got a book to read. What's which the book? uh forget the, forget the title of the book. Something in the dunes. <sighs> I don't remember. Well, how's the chemistry going? Um, it, I thought, you know, when you think of chemistry, I think, oh, we're going to be in the lab making crazy stuff and yeah. doing experiments. I mean, I didn't even go right to the math with it at all. The chemistry department has tutors that are available basically any time you would, you would need them. Yeah, this is Tim Gay over in physics. Um, I've got a student here, Tommy Lee, who's taking your intro chemistry class. I was wondering what your options are in terms of tutors. Can I send him over? Hi, are you Tommy? You're my tutor. <laughs> awesome. You ready to study? Yeah, right. yeah. I see you got started without me here. <laughs> I'm really stressing on it. Like, I didn't come here to just goof around and party. Yeah, to like, come in and... I actually came here to do well. Yeah. Do you just kind of specialize in anything? Right now I'm a senior, and um, I'm studying pre-med. I'm applying to med school right now. I'll Whoa. graduate in May. So um, I teach a chemistry course. I do a bunch of stuff, so hopefully I'll be able to put it for you in ways that work for me. You just have to think of it as a challenge. Do you like challenges? Like you like sure. knowing you can't have something? Like that's exactly what this is. Like it's like something you're gonna have to work for. You're studying quantum theory and atomic structure. Like you thought you're gonna know your roommate. You're gonna know this book. And, um, first thing we're talking about is the nature of light. Visible light, x-rays, microwaves, radio waves, et cetera. You're gonna hear about atoms, you're gonna hear about molecules, and you're gonna and hear about nanometers, which is 10 to the negative nine. Just doing like Avogadro's number and moles and conversions. Okay. Your and mass number is protons. And they give you a question, it's like, your mass number is 16, and your atomic number is eight. How many protons and neutrons? You're totally stumping okay. me. Okay, no problem. It's no <laughs> totally big deal. It's no big deal, it's no big deal. Okay. Should I just take something else? No, you can't give up. I think I'm gonna cry. Um, no, don't cry. <laughs> I don't want to do this. There's like stereotypes about rock stars, you know, and like people yeah, aren't sure. expecting you to get it, and I'm gonna make sure you get it, cause awesome. like that rules. I have the same thing being a blonde, being a sorority girl, so like. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank you. No problem. So what did you think when you first saw her? Were you able to like stay focused on everything she was talking about? Not or did really. you lose it? Yeah. Just just checking her out. I didn't really get much of it. One day into his studies. And a pensive Mr. Lee finds himself plagued with doubt. Study good. Make good grades for me. Make me proud of you. This is a serious academic institution. Mr. 
Mr. Lee, you were late for class. Have you done your homework? I thought he was very handsome, to be honest with you. How in God's good name can he possibly measure up to the expectations? Unless... Edward is an entrepreneur, and Sister Salt is an entrepreneur. First off, who's more successful? Hello? Matt, can you hear me? Mm. Pretty exciting in there today, isn't it? Yeah. What's she doing? Matt, get she off the teacher. Remember? Anybody? There we go. Now we're talking about it. Excellent. Now this is what I call college. Some of the music in this episode is available on Tommyland the Ride in stores now.